For more than 50 years, we have been scanning the skies with antennas, hoping to pick up a radio signal from space that would prove the existence of other intelligent life. So far, evidence of extraterrestrial life has generally ranged from questionable and shaky at best, to downright silly and laughable at its worst. Scientific studies have, for the most part, resulted in relentless empty static. However, this may have changed on Friday, August the 12th of 2016. That's where the star kick 8,462,852, otherwise known as Tabby's star, comes in. Tabby's star is a nod to a Yale University astronomer, Tabitha Boy Aegean, who led the team that discovered, out of 150,000 other stars being studied, irregular brightness changes. First observed by NASA's Kepler Space Telescope, and, thanks largely to the work of astronomy enthusiasts, they were able to rule out the fluctuation in light as being planets, comets, dust storms, and natural causes. After some recent data showing Tabby's star's overall brightness has dipped more than 20% over the last 100 years, also at erratic intervals not seen in nature, it lends more weight to the idea that extraterrestrial life might actually exist and that these fluctuations could stem from unfathomably large alien megastructures. To expand upon this idea, it has convinced some that an alien megastructure not only accounts for the star's eccentricities, but also constitutes the first credible evidence for extraterrestrials. This thesis was first broached by Pennsylvania State University astronomer Jason Wright, and was quickly picked up by an enthusiastic space media. That's an exciting prospect to some, and not entirely fanciful to others. I believe this partially depends on your beliefs in creationism. More on this in a moment. A more intriguing explanation was also provided, perhaps this star shelters a planet boasting a civilization older and more technically capable than our own. And perhaps these advanced beings have embarked on a massive engineering project, building orbiting solar panels to supply the energy needs of their society. This space-borne construction could cause the dimming. Before claiming the discovery of life outside of our planet, consider this. In the 1960s, Cambridge astronomers found puzzling radio pulses coming from our galaxy. Pulses as regular as the best clocks. They half seriously suggested that these might originate from little green men. In fact, they were natural signals from dead stars. At about the same time, some Russian astronomers noted erratic radio transmissions from distant galaxies, which they also dared to propose were caused by aliens trying to get in touch. In fact, they were just giant black holes doing their thing. There are other examples, but the lesson of history is, if you give aliens the credit for strange phenomena, you're probably wrong. That is not to say that this discovery isn't extraterrestrial in nature. After all, the premise that someone is out there is supported by many scientists, and no reasonable evidence should be ignored. A recent analysis of Kepler data by astronomers Ben Montet and Joshua Simon has shown that this object can slowly, and unevenly, fade over the course of just a few years. Again, this is not standard operating practice for stars. The bottom line is that, at present, we still don't know what's going on in this star system. The safe bet is that we are witnessing a perfectly natural phenomenon, one that we don't yet understand. The universe has shown itself to be endlessly creative in creating puzzles for our delectation and bafflement. But there remains the chance that this is, indeed, something other than a work of nature. And while the odds against Tabby's star being an alien construction are long, and to some, so are the odds that the galaxy is entirely sterile. For now, we wait and continue to study and theorize. Before concluding, I would like to hear from you. What are your thoughts on the existence of aliens? Surely you have thoughts on their origins their possible involvement in the so-called evolution of mankind, 
and their existence. Perhaps you believe that the aliens are sinister in nature, a guise of sorts for fallen angels, and will eventually make their appearance during the end of times? There are a lot of theories and I would like to hear yours. So, take a moment and post down below with the details and I'll disclose my thoughts on the matter as well. Make certain to like, subscribe, and share. Also, if you like the social media thing, you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. Talk to you soon.